ladies and gentlemen welcome to a new review next to me is the new Skoda comic this is the ambition package we're gonna get to check it out quick look inside interior exterior what's new I'm gonna do a full in-depth review of the style package so let's check this uh, middle package that uh, most of you will be looking for so let's dig in here is the key of the new uh, comic well camera okay, is trying to focus it's pretty much the same key as in other Skoda cars uh, but this is a wireless key so you don't have to use it so I'm gonna put it in my pocket now let's come closer a little bit check the ambition baggers so first thing you notice it doesn't have the full LED lights it has the basic LED light but the good news is there is no halogen bulbs anymore so this is the ambition package we get the chrome the active package I would avoid has a black this bottom piece so that's how you can recognize it now comic is a crossover uh, like a small SUV car really nice design uh, you can see those side air tunneling really elegant looking car so let's move to the side now it is really good packed uh, this is the side look if we come a little closer of course you have the uh, radar in this area of course then you have the LED lights there's four uh, individual LED lights, these are your daytime running lights, and then you have only bulb for the blinker or the uh, uh, turn signal. And then you have on the bottom LED fog lights as well, and your main light as well, integrated in one piece. Now, uh, there's four packages, so there's Active, this Ambition, Style, and Monte Carlo, which you can see from um, Frankfurt Auto Show that I filmed. I'm gonna put a link on the top. Uh, so this car is equipped with 1.5 TSI, 150 horsepower. This is the strongest petrol version. Uh, it has extras like uh, remote start. I mean, excuse me, not remote start, easy start with a button. Uh, doesn't use a key. Uh, tinted black uh, dark windows on the back, uh, folding electric heated mirrors and uh, automatic AC. So. Let's get on the back of the car and try putting it into frame. It looks nice, it looks like Scala. There's a lot of things borrowed from Scala, like the uh, back lights. So these are the base lights. You can get the turn signal lights as well. Uh, we have here on the bottom diffuser. It looks nice, better than the black one in the Scala. Now, if we open the trunk, by back up, you can see pretty good space for a crossover crossover um, uh, you can put this I guess maybe up no it's not a flat bottom but you have a spare tire which is a good a lot of cars are ditching that now but as you can see there's like five six fingers of height and then you have this little area here uh, of course you can put a triangle here and then you have this tether point for the nets uh, for grocery bags, level charger, there's LED light, maybe halogen bulb. And then you have this little light you can uh, take out if you need to illuminate uh, anything in the trunk space. Of course, here a little turtle point, another grocery holder maybe for first aid here. Also a little space on the side, you can knock down the seats 40, 60. And this is 400 liters of space, even more if you knock down the seats. Now, if you close this you can see LED lights on the back as standard uh, back camera is optional and let's check the interior space so inside this is a trim with the black details and the ambition package depending on the package you're getting different colors inside all electric windows you can lock the rear uh, folded and heating option so this is robust plastic uh, it's soft on the top, on the bottom it's more cheap uh, material. And then we have seats, these are nice uh, cloth seats, I would say uh, they're kind of, uh, they look sport with this uh, side bolsters, but they're not. There are sport seats with integrated headrests. So this is, uh, these are the base seats, uh, they pre pretty much do a good job, I would say. Have a small compartment here. With some cloth inside lights you should keep automatic the base lights don't have the automatic uh, 
like up and down so you need to adjust it manually if you get the uh, full LED lights you just leave it on automatic that's it of course if you're using fog lights just push uh, back now steering wheel you can adjust multiple directions up and down inside outside so let's hear the closing sound not too bad now we have a now classic Skoda sport steering wheel in sport it's a three spoke steering wheel uh, not flat bottom but it looks pretty elegant almost like a sport one the sport one gets a flat bottom now you get the manual still uh, speedometer with the needles you can get optional virtual cockpit as well if you want that now this is the overlook now the screen is on the top like in the Scala this is 6.5 inch you can get either in higher packages 8 inch screen or 9 point if I'm not mistaken 3 or something 9.2 so before we turn on you can see on the bottom the whole interior is actually uh, same as in the Scala so if you want to close the vents just push it to the side you can see now they're closed uh, so that's right close left to open and then you can adjust them you have your hazards here and there are in the uh, in the side mirrors as well you can lock the car or unlock it and then when you turn on we have really simple ac controls they're really nice and on the bottom we have a rubber mat for your phone you can get optional wireless charging you have two usb c's you can get optional two on the back if you spec them and then uh, this is the six speed manual you can either get a seven speed automatic depending on the engine now, available engines are 1.0 with a 95 horsepower 115 horsepower or 1.5 which is this one i would personally avoid the 1.5 because it has a kangaroo problem I'm not sure if this is still, still a recall, so I would wait for that personally. And you can get the 1.6 uh, TDI diesel with 150 horsepower as well. Now on the top, this car has basic speakers, one on the top, uh, bottom, uh, and the A pillar, pretty good. Uh, but I would definitely go for the upgraded speakers if you ask me. Now over here, uh, this is some sort of texture, a nice material uh, with a little bit of piano plastic. Uh, there's a lot of piano plastic here. I personally don't like that because it gets scratched, but it does look nice and sportish, kind of stealth look on the bottom as well. Piano plastic in this car, you only have auto stop, uh, start stop off. Uh, so you can get optional, it's like driving mode if you spec that. Now, inside, we have a, a little book, a big glove compartment with carpeting, which is nice. And then we have the AC controls, no CD, DVD player anymore, or SD card. It's all Bluetooth now. Now, on the bottom, same as in Scala, cup holders. These holes, if you have a Coca-Cola bottle, you put it in, and you can twist the uh, bottle cap. Uh, this is like a little trash or ashtray. And we have here 12 volt charging or cigarette lighter. Personally, I wouldn't smoke in the car, but you know, it's your own personal choice. Manual handbrake. Now, it's a good thing in Škoda Octavia, fourth generation, uh, we're losing the hand, manual handbrake. I don't know, some people like it, some don't, so leave your comment, what do you like? Now, interesting, here you have a, a business card holder in here, or maybe your parking card. Um, that's an interesting detail. The armrest does extend. It does have levels. Actually, what? Well, it, it, does, it doesn't have levels. Huh, I'm surprised. Okay, uh, seats. Um, well, I'm sitting on them and they're pretty comfortable, uh, supportive, I would say. Uh, space, I'm two meters tall, 6.6. .6. Uh, I've pushed the seat a little bit down, plenty of head, uh, head space. I'm gonna see later a back uh, round view of the car. Now, a little bit of lifted, that's why people get the uh, crossovers or SUVs. Uh, you feel a little bit safer and you can see better around yourself. Good mirrors, uh, you can see the hood good overview good back look and then when you look on the sides there's no blind spot because you have a lot of window space this is the back look now you can get the optional black roof this is just the um, you know a middle package uh, rubber mat for your sunglasses you have uh, information I can book a service or emergency call if you need that now on the top you have uh, lights now the car battery is kind of drained so that's why it shuts off as you can see, halogen bulbs are not LEDs still. 
you have your passenger airbags. Now I'm gonna do a full in-depth review of the uh, more spec car, the style package, and uh, go in-depth with the infotainment. This is just a quick overview of the base model. So you have your uh, privacy mirror, no light on the top. You can move it, but it doesn't extend. I wish there was maybe a second piece here, uh, but that's maybe something uh, to think in the future models. Now, this model has a cruise control and a speed limiter uh, and uh, adaptive radar and lane assist as standard. So that's a, a big plus if you ask me. Now, we should go and check the back seat. Uh, also, this car is has extra optionals. So you have a start-stop button. You don't turn it on. Actually, I'm going to stay here. Just uh, turn on so I have the key with me. It's probably going to have your airbag information. So the full of battery, battery is a little bit low. I haven't transferred this to English uh, because of the battery. So you have set up um, climate control. So the car needs to be, I guess, on. So actually, no, I'm just turn off the uh, AC. So uh, this is the screen. I'm gonna do full in the preview of the another one. So, you know, but I'm gonna turn it off on the bottom. Uh, you have here, I turn it on, you have temperatures, um, automatic, or I don't know, if you want a science, uh, you need to go on the touch screen, and then it's science, but uh, car battery is kind of depleted. So you have speakers, I'm gonna turn on the volume, you can turn it over here or over here. So the ignition is, uh, the car engine is, is not on, it's only electric power, so uh, it kind of gets confused and I think it's trying to save the battery, so it's it's not playing right now, so I apologize. Have media. Yeah, it's turning off because to save the battery, as you can see, so I apologize, we're not gonna see this in this model. Of course, you have car here information, you have app connections. Uh, like Android uh, or, or Apple CarPlay or Mirror Link. In Croatia, only Mirror Link is, uh, Mirror Link is working at the moment. Uh, you can connect via Bluetooth or uh, Wi-Fi integrated in the car. Uh, but this is really basic uh, functions. Of here, you have your know, your speed information, your trip. You can reset it here, and that's all. Some sometimes these cars get uh, battery depleted because there's a lot of customers like you know uh, me now getting inside and just uh, touching everything. Uh, so they discharge the batteries, they hook them up to charge, but um, you know, sometimes they just forget. So, um, but if you wanna see really in-depth review, uh, you can check it out uh, later uh, when I do a full in-depth review. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that bell to get notifications when I upload a new one. So back look, uh, pretty same uh, on the back, uh, materials wise, now the seats go inside deep, so you can see even on the uh, elbow area, you can see over there, there's a, a lot of space. Uh, definitely Škoda is known as a roomy car. Uh, of course, now you have this, so if you wanna knock down the seats, uh, you know, so it doesn't uh, stay on the way. If I back up, you can see that the doors open widely, so you have kids uh, and need to put a child seat. It's, uh, all good, so you can see a lot of space, even if you fold, it, fold this down. Uh, I believe you can get like a second shelf, so you can have this flat, but um, definitely a lot of space in this car. And you can get the middle armrest, this model doesn't have that, so I'm gonna sit inside. So remember, I was sitting on the front, so you can see I have plenty knee room, you know, um, considering I was sitting on the front. Good closing sound on the back as well. Now we have only AC controls. If I open the doors for more light, you can see on the bottom it's blank, so you can get optional two USB C's and a heated back seats as well. This is one more time front look. Uh, as mentioned, looks like Škoda Scala. Uh, on the top, you would turn on the lights, but uh, in this case, the batteries. Really low, big window on the side, as mentioned, elbow area, really spacious. Now, if I turn the camera towards me, you can see definitely plenty of space. Two meters tall, 6.6, .6. definitely I'm one of the tallest persons 
but almost like a basketball basketball player uh, so definitely plenty of space even uh, my back is fully upright my head uh, my hair is touching the roof but I have space I'm not touching it with the back so definitely thumbs up for Shkoda so this was it I hope you like this quick overview I'm gonna check the engine bay get closing sound and some of the Shkoda simply clever features like on the back, this is the petrol version. You have this ice scraper that is integrated uh, into the uh, fuel cap. And then you have your uh, tire pressure information here. Uh, pretty standard. And this is cool if you open the uh, gas, you have you can put it here on your refuel so it doesn't hang and scratch your uh, clear coat. So now the back lights, uh, these are uh, base lights, only this part turns on. You have your blinkers, uh, I guess reverse light. This one doesn't turn on. In the fully equipped model, you can see you have uh, sequential turn signals and these lights are both connected and light up. Uh, on the back, there's no more badge, there's Skoda uh, leathering, but everything else looks nice. Now you can see the exhaust is on the bottom, hidden. and. Just to go around the car, put it into the perspective. It looks really nice and elegant. Now I opened the hood uh, before, so you push to the left and you have to use the little thing to hold the, uh, uh, the front bonnet. But you can see this is the 1.5 PSI engine. No more Skoda. Um, it's a four cylinder. You can see those four um, like ridges, whatever you call them. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you like this video. As mentioned, this was just a quick look of the car. I'm gonna book a test drive to uh, show you the fully spec model. And uh, not to forget, these are the 16 inch uh, alloy wheels. So you can choose either 17 uh, in the higher package or you can choose the 18 inch uh, wheels if you prefer I would stick to 17 inch it's a good compromise between uh, looks and tire uh, for better comfort on the road so I hope you like this video I'm gonna see you in the next one of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up I'll leave your comment what do you think about the new Shweta comic and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't click that bell to get notifications when I upload a new full review of the fully spec model if you want to see Monte Carlo uh, sport package I'm gonna put a link on the top, so check that out. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. As always, stay safe on the road, and big thanks to Škoda here in Zagreb for lending me uh, always, you know, to review their cars. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.